pizza time. The dough has been in the refrigerator overnight, so it should be perfect to stretch. We have some cornmeal. We put that down first, and then some flour. I like to use the cornmeal because it's uh, it doesn't stick to the dough as much, so it doesn't have that like super floury bottom, right? Since I'm cooking on a baking stone, I'm gonna use um, this parchment paper here so I can slide it into the oven nice and easily. But if you don't have a baking stone to cook your pieces on, um, you could do something like the back of um, just a sheet pan and you can put some cornmeal or flour or whatever on it so it doesn't stick. We're gonna get to stretching the, uh, the dough here. So I'm gonna give my hands a little flour bath so we don't get any sticky, sticky fingers. So now, um, since I uh, took the dough out of the refrigerator and then kind of let it sit out for about 20 minutes or so to get kind of room temperature. That makes the dough a little bit easier to stretch. So if you use it right out of the refrigerator, it's going to be cold and kind of uh, super elastic. So it's going to suck uh, suck back in together and it's going to be a little bit harder to, harder to stretch. This is, a, this is a beautiful dough. I'm really proud of myself actually. Um, I think my dad's going to be proud. I love you dad. Wow, it's stretching beautiful. This is just like Sibby's dough. I'm excited here. Wow, okay, so we're getting into the old, uh, just to flip here. I'm just getting right back into the routine here of uh, making pizzas. Beautiful pizza dough here. I'm freaking excited. So let's get right into some sauce. I got a little ladle here. Sauce ladle, just to start in the middle. Super excited for pizza. This is fantastic. Okay, and then you kind of work out from the middle to the edges. Ooh, we like to go pretty close to the edges here. Yep. Okay, so for this pizza today, we're just gonna do some super simple spinach and uh, tomato because, you know, we just, we're getting our quarantine on, so we don't have the, you know, the plethora of toppings that we might at Sibby's, like anchovies. Oh, I would never put that on a pizza there. Okay, so next, spinach, boom, here we go. We're gonna put the spinach under the cheese. This is um, something that we do at uh, the store because it won't burn under the cheese. So the cheese has a nice protective layer for it to not burn and it comes out tasting delicious. Cheese. All right, so everyone's favorite part, cheese. We try to start on the edges and work our way in. Um, we like to bring the cheese out as far to the crust as we possibly can. And this is just a blend of mozzarella and provolone. Okay, great. Tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes applied. You gotta spice it up a little bit. Oregano, this is fantastic on just about any pizza. So throw some of that on there. This is gonna be great, okay. And then we've got a little extra basil leaves here. Mm, it's kind of All right. And then let's put a little extra cheese on there. All right, so now your ovens, I think the temperature, you can go for about 385 uh, for 10 to 12 minutes. You wanna check it and you're looking for it to be uh, brown, crispy around the edges, but it's really the browning in the, the middle of the cheese will start to brown as well. Voila! Okay, so it's a beautiful pizza. Look at that. Yes! Oh, it smells delicious. Look at that. It's so crispy. Can you see the bottom here? I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but yes. Look at that, that's beautiful. I'm super proud of this thing. And boom, there you have it. Delicious Sibby's pizza at home. We got spinach, tomato, some delicious spices with the mozzarella and provolone cheese. Peace, I'm out of here.